we're looking at a summer surge similar to last summer surge about the same number so far but it looks like it's going to go up so the numbers and hospitalizations may even exceed uh, last year's summer surge they're among the worst affected states louisiana it's all southern states um, you know, a combination of we have lots of the Delta variant and low vaccination coverage. So especially up in northern Florida, where vaccination coverage is similar to the low numbers, similar to Louisiana, more lower, especially among younger age groups. So among those over the age of 65, it's not too bad. It's um, it's similar to the north less. I mean, instead of 99 percent, you have 80 percent or 85 percent. But. But down in the, when you go to the younger age groups, then that's where you see the big disparity, and that's just piling at the hospitals now. You're seeing hospitalized kids all over the South now, and I don't think the virus is target, targeting kids necessarily. I just think there's a firestorm underway and kids are getting swept up in it. And, um, and, and this is even ahead of the school year. So I worry about an acceleration as schools open. Wherever we have low vaccination coverage, we're going to see a steep surge. So I think, you know, it's going to look like last summer's surge for now. It's going to go across the state, uh, go, go across the southern states. It'll move into Texas pretty soon. It's already starting here in Houston in our Texas Medical Center. Uh, admissions are piling up. And unfortunately, the opening of schools is going to be an accelerant because we're going to see a lot more kids, adolescents, and unvaccinated staff get infected as well. So the message is we've got to do a better job vaccinating. We've and you know, we've got to reach levels that were that are in Vermont and Massachusetts uh, here in the South. Uh, otherwise the numbers will continue to to, to climb. in the Biden administration that they've not really articulated a plan for global vaccinations. And I don't, you know, even if the U.S. were to donate its entire stockpile, it would only make a modest difference. What they've not done is, is articulate a plan for scaling up and producing the six billion doses that we need for low and middle income countries. And we've proposed our vaccine, which is now being accelerated in India and Indonesia, would be a perfect vaccine for that. But so far, that's not been the direction they're taking. Delta is dominant, is dominant. We've got to get our arms around that and focus on that. There's another variant out of Florida now, the B1621 that I'm looking at. That's starting to take off. I, if anything, I'd be more worried about that right now than the, than the Lambda variant. We've always seen big waves of COVID-19 occur and and they drop off as suddenly as they rise. The The difference though in the US is it this coincides with schools opening. And so I'm not as confident that the drop that we saw in the UK will apply to the US and, and that's a big worry. You have to get it because it's too crazy out here. You know, and um, people wait for the wrong time, and then it might be the bad time, and then it's too late for you. It is scary, but uh, if people learn to stay protected, keep their PPE. That's yeah. personal protection equipment, they mask, you know what I mean? Wash your hands like you're supposed to, okay. you know what I mean? Do the precautionary measures. I think it'd be, it'd be a lot easier to reduce down, reduce the, uh, 
the cost and for people to be less scared. Okay. But what's happening is people being very inconsiderate for others, mm. you know, and that's what's causing it. And then no one's taking the precautionary measures. Right? They're being very irresponsible. We as adults need to be responsible, not just for us, but for everyone else. We are whole world. We're not just individuals. over there and they'll give you the information and then if you want to register to win the ticket, just come back to this. Thank you. 